What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, and allow me to introduce you to a game with maybe the longest name in all of recorded history. Seriously, listen to this. Welcome to Monster Energy AMA Supercross Championship, the official video game five. Good Lord, could we shorten that up a little bit? That really rolls right off the tongue. But anyway, this is Supercross 5, that's what I'm gonna call it, and it's something that gets highly requested around here all the time, so we're finally here in the new one to give it a shot. And we're here in Atlanta, but not the new Atlanta, it's the old Atlanta, so I guess we hit a time warp, but it's fitting that we're doing this dirt bike racing here on a weekend that is kind of dirt themed with Bristol. And with those formalities out of the way, I guess that means it's time for me to make a fool of myself. So I do remember some of the mechanics here as we're off and underway, not the greatest gate drop timing in the world. But I'm already at the back, so what the hell, I guess I'll just try to cut up to the front. Why no? There we go. All right, well, <laughs> damn AI, you can try to put up a fight at any time if you want to. We're just running the one shot, basically the default settings that just think, you know, if they ask you what level of a stooge are you when you load up the game for the first time, I told them I'm a pretty big one, so I got whatever settings they gave me. And honestly, they might have given me baby mode because I'm up fighting for third right now already. And what the hell? All right. They really might have given me baby mode. Why did I just go invisible right there? I could have drove out of that. Someone else just ate it. There's our first casualty of the video. We got Dean Wilson down for the count, and I'm getting bumped and run out of the way. It's a little early for this. Damn, dudes. All right, the game is bullying me seconds in to my first official attempt. I did a little bit of practice, but not a whole lot, and that is gonna be very apparent and obvious. I just have a, enough of knowledge, uh, enough of knowledge, there we go. This is really requiring every brain cell I have right now, excuse me. As, and it's, it may not be enough, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was a good landing. Oh, here we go. Back into third. That Eli Tomac energy. We're gonna need all of it in this race. And I have just enough knowledge of the layout to hopefully not embarrass myself too bad, and then I go and I do that. All right. It's all right. You're allowed to point and laugh. Oh my, you might want to start now, and there it is, down on my face. We're gonna go ahead and utilize this replay button a little bit. I'm just planting myself all the way back here. Just try this whole section over again, and I'm gonna mess it up again. Oh my, I didn't do it as bad though. We did not get the little slowdown garbage for going off track, and that is a win for me, and I'm gonna not blast off of this thing, which that seems entirely purposely designed to deceive you into blasting off of it, so that's nice. Thanks track designers for that one. And if we're not careful here, I'm putting a little style on it so I can get that replay back. We might just have ourselves a little battle with Moose Can. I might have a few problems here when I blast something else. There goes my crotch bones in first place. Oh, we're gonna try to hold on to that here. We got a nasty little part of the track over here. What is this? The quicksand is slowing me down. What the hell? How did he go flying through there? Who put that on the racetrack? Could we take it off? Maybe. Do we need it? And look what it's doing to me. It's now it's in my head. It is living rent-free in my brain. And now I gotta fight with Moose Cannon again, which it seems like it's been so long since I've done this in a YouTube video, and now we're going blowing by him. Am I messing this up or no? We're driving good. So don't mind me if I stun on him a little bit right here. Just gonna build it up. Styling on him, doing a little bit for the crowd. Getting a lap in the lead. I'm getting paid out here. I might be the greatest of all time. Oh my God, I'm dead. All right. Just annihilated my sack there, got wasted. That couldn't be more accurate. Glad that showed up on screen. And then we're just gonna go ahead and drive through the sand pit of tar and just waste. Why is this a thing that slows me down so bad? I'll never understand. Somebody explain that section to me. I don't get it. It throws me totally off of this section too because then it just invades my mind. I am wearing my rookie stripes proudly here today. Don't you ever try to take them away from me. I'm in the lead somehow. I don't know why I should be wearing rookie stripes. So I should have like a high, a high visibility safety vest on that's totally reflective. It just says big dumb idiot on a dirt bike doofus. And it, it would be very accurate. And look, I'm once again, yeah, oh man, would it ever. Would it ever, ladies and gentlemen. Now I gotta take this one slow so I don't mess this one up, but I'm still gonna be uneven here. This is just gonna turn into a nice big mess, and Moose Can's probably laughing at me up there, and I'm gonna mess this one up too to boot. That's neat. I just gotta tap into some of the rhythm I had going earlier and not overshoot the landings of the jumps or overcorrect the next jump, trying to make things better and end up making it worse. That is not ideal. I get a lot worse when I start yapping. I end up landing on Sexton's head. Bonk him right in the dome, which is actually oddly fitting considering his name. At what point do you just go to the courthouse and change it? Although that one's really not that bad. There are far worse ones out there, but come on, dog. You went to middle school with that? 
What a shame. What a shame is all I got to say. And what a shame for Moose Cannon. He's getting absolutely put to shame by the fact that I am once again up here in the fight with him. I got to imagine for an AI, this is just like your worst nightmare. Like you're set to like the lowest setting or one of the lowest settings and some idiot who can't even scrub the right way keeps catching up to you. That has to be just hell for a rider. This this is what it is when you just, you cross the line too many times as a, as a bike racer. This is what you get sent to afterwards. And, and apparently I get sent to the sand trap and I just get stuck there every single time. And I'm still refusing to learn how to do it, I guess. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep going. That time I didn't let it like throw me off my game for the next section though. So you know what we call that? We call that progress. We're gonna call this just sitting up the inside of Moose Can in the same spot, I'm pretty sure, of like the fifth lap in a row. That is just my section, I guess. I absolutely own that part of the track. It is my property. These guys gotta pay the toll and taxes when they come through that section, because it just is mine that bad. Then this one, I, <laughs> we don't wanna talk about what I have to do when I get to this section. I think I just killed Moose Can and myself. All right. I may be botching it. Probably should focus more on the bike and not the comedy routine. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad idea if we want to win this baby motor race, this warm up. This let me know if you want to see any of this again, which why would you? But maybe you do. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really pimping my video while I'm racing with Sexton. He cannot be pleased. Oh my God, this is a hell of a race right now too. Side by side battling. This is the good stuff right here. This is what you paid to see. You didn't pay a dime. It doesn't get any better than that. I got the best exit I've gotten all day, I'm pretty sure. That's going to put us right on the tailpipe of Mr. Moose over here. Come here, buddy. I know you're probably getting sick of this. I just bonk him in the head with the tire on the way by. There you go. Just left a donut on his helmet. That's cool. More donuts being left in this race than the NASCAR Martinsville race the other week. That's a confirmed fact at this point, a real sad one if you ask me. My guy just took a tear off off while I almost took his life from him. Real bold strategy there, Eli. Oh my God, one day I'm gonna learn not to implode this guy's spine on that jump, but today apparently is not that day. I honestly don't even know if I do scrubs the right way. I, I do not understand any of this at all. I'm throwing it away. We got, no, I am not allowing this to happen. We are, we have three. We're gonna use one of them there. We are going to go ahead and just pretend that didn't happen. Although, I honestly, I might have been fine anyway. I'm probably going to let that roll. Well, if I mess it up past here, I don't even think I'm going to hit the replay button. I think I'm just going to eat it. I think I would kind of deserve it at that point. God, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, trust me. But I think the moose has officially been canned. And a very familiar sight is about to occur. Eli Tomac winning at a big speedway. There it is. Final jump in order right there. Give me that two-wheel dub our first one in a super cross game in a while because i basically accidentally skipped the game i didn't even know they made a fourth one all of a sudden here comes the fifth one i was like what the hell how did i do i missed one but here we are we did it we got the dub we have returned now the only question that remains is will we return again and that is pretty much entirely up to you guys because i am more than down to come back and do some more maybe even try to actually get good and understand how these games work because they definitely take some time and I feel like I put a little bit of time into this one today and I still stunk, but these things happen. So if you enjoyed it and you want to see some more, you know what to do. Hit that like button, go in the comments down below. Let me know if there's anything you want to check out in the future and make sure you subscribe because we'll have some more awesome stuff coming to you soon. Like some Wreckfest Bristol dirt action. This would be the perfect weekend for it. I think we're going to head into that here in a little bit. So thank you so much as always, everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.